Welcome back to Sam's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a wonderfully healthy and delicious salmon and prawn stir fry. Let's begin! Now I'm using rainbow trout because I got a good deal on some, but this works just as well with salmon. Let's start by preparing the fish. I'm adding olive oil, salt and pepper and thyme to the fish and I'm going to rub it in and leave it for a while. This helps to season the fish beautifully and will make it even tastier when you cook it. And now we move on to preparing the vegetables. The first step is to cut a slice down the centre of the leek, turn it 90 degrees and cut another one like so. Now we can fan out the leek and wash out all the grit and dirt that was there from when it was growing. The next step is to chop our vegetables. So hold the leek with your fingers vertically and use it as a guide for the knife. Go slowly at first and when you've gained confidence go a bit faster. You should want to chop it thin and fine. Now to prepare the bell pepper. So you want to chop the stalk off and position it downwards making three downward cuts like so. This leaves all the seeds and remaining stalk in one easily recycled piece. Now simply slice the pepper thinly in the same method that we did the leek. Now it's just a simple matter of cutting the roots off and peeling our garlic. Once this is done we can get a big piece of fresh ginger and start peeling it. You can either do this with a knife or a potato peeler, although I prefer the knife. Now we need to break the ginger up because there's nothing worse than eating a big piece of ginger. So I'm going to cut it up and use a garlic press to try and press it. I've never done this before so let's see how this goes. Oh well, that doesn't seem to have worked does it? Well, I'm just going to cut the rest out with my knife, although a cheese grater will work perfectly too. Now finally it's time to use the garlic press for its original purpose, pressing the garlic. Put a wok or a large frying pan onto the hob at a high heat and apply a healthy glug of olive oil. When the oil just begins to smoke, add your vegetables. If you're using raw fish and you haven't cooked it separately like me, then you should add it now, having cut it up into cubes. After the veg has been cooking for a few minutes, add some soy sauce, fish sauce and either coconut water or coconut milk if you haven't got coconut water. Stir this in and let it simmer. Now it's time to add the egg noodles to some boiling water. Just drop them in and when they get soft, push them down under the water. Add some prawns to the mix, fresh or frozen is fine, and just stir them in. Now we're nearly done, so if you're using pre-cooked fish or you've cooked your fish using another method like me, just add it now. Now all that's left to do is drain the noodles and add them to the wok. Just be sure to add a little bit of noodle water into the pan just to make a more cohesive sauce. I like to add a small drizzle of sesame oil at the end for a bit more flavour, but this isn't necessary. And now it's time to plate up. Add some noodles with your tongs, add a bit of the topping on top, and admire your handiwork. Thanks for watching Sam's Kitchen. Remember to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it or you want to ask me something, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, happy cooking.